Yo, what up YouTube, it's Rain. No, mama, 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 mess. So it's something different. Um, and some of you will know exactly what I'm talking about or know exactly the importance of this, and some of you won't. So this is um, the newest release. I say the newest release. So this is um, New Balance. They have like a heritage range or they have some trainers which are just very um, iconic in their stable. I would... I would say like the equivalent to like an Air Max One or a Reebok Classic, but I feel that saying that it disrespects what New Balance do and have done. So what these are, sorry, I'll just take my name off the box. So these are the the um, the New Balance, the M thirteen hundred JP three. So some of you immediately are thinking JP three. So does that mean this is the third release or whatever it may be? Now this actual trainer released a few times. Shouts out to the Nerf Mandem. You know what? This just rolled into the shop. And Mills GP, I've said him on the... I've been talking about him a lot, actually. But anyway, we spoke about doing a Nerf war. Imagine having a Nerf war just in a place. Not in a, not in a field, but like in a, a building. But anyway, we'll come back to that another time. But anyway, so these have released a few times. So I think the first time... I think the first time they released was 1985. And I believe... Don't quote me that they release every five years. Every five years they release, and from the release, the price. Oh, I haven't even shown you the trainer. From the release, the, the the actual price point doesn't really change. I need something to lean it up on. Anyway, so these are them. So initially, like if you're not uh, if you're not a New Balance fan, you're like, well, these are just like any old trainer that I might get. Rare tear 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 tear. To the New Balance collector, this is like getting an Air Max 1 signed by Tinker Hatfield in Oregon at his original sketch desk with Michael Jordan sitting in the corner. I might have overdone it a bit, but you know what I mean. Um, they are very, 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 very sought after. Now, the reason why they are sought over is probably some of the detail and some of the quality so the quality is well okay the price point for these are 250 pounds i know some of you are just like what what 250 what spankies are you crazy no no that long it's long you have just signed out from there but from some of the i'm gonna go, go into some of the details and then you'll see why or or you'll understand why so um the shape this is probably the closest to the OG shape so closest to the 1985 shape that um that you're going to get in regards to this trainer um what did the other shapes look like the other shapes just had different kind of cuts on the toe box the the the, the mesh was a little bit um or the toe box the, that toe spacing where my thumb is was a little bit bigger bigger a little bit smaller this um cut here was a little bit arched more and all that kind of stuff but ultimately it's as close as you're going to get to the OG. Now, some of the, the bits that we've got to go through, or just to show you, and some of you might not know. Oh, look, I've worn them already. Look, dusty. Anyway, so the actual sole or the actual um, outsole is by a company called Vibram. Now, Vibram um, are leaders in their chosen field, and they say that due to their technology or their soles, the, I'm not saying that the sole is indestructible, but the outsole will have a lot longer wear than your traditional Nike, Reebok, Asics trainers, potentially. Also, let me grab the other pair. The camera is not playing ball today. I bought a new tripod and the tripod's acting like a donut. Right, so you can probably just see here. Just getting a bit closer. Boom skin. Horween leather. Not Halloween, don't get it confused. Horween Leathers. Now, Horween Leathers are a company which specialise in leathers. Some of their techniques to get the leather as detailed and as plush and smooth as this is that they bury it underground. And I, I was told this, or I heard this in conversation. I was actually in the panel group. We've got a panel group where um, Emils was talking about it. And they were saying that they bury it underground for a certain period of time and they treat it and cure it to get it to the quality that it is now this is actually leather it is not suede as much as you see it 
so I can get the HD boom skin, I think. No. So as much as you see, it looks like a suede, it's actually a leather. But treated through the years, done XYZ to it, who knows? Anyway, like ultimately the trainer is a heritage piece, it's a collector's piece. It's one of those trainers where I'm probably disrespecting a lot of new balance man by doing that, but hey ho, needs a new tripod. Um it's one of them trainers that to pull it out of your collection to a new balance head, he'd probably stop you and say, Rah, like respect for having those. Where did you get them? Um you've had, so apparently Ralph Lauren has a few pairs of these and when he wore them he said it's the closest thing to walking on air that you will that you will put on your feet. Now my question to Ralph Lauren is you haven't worn a pair of Vapor Max. Maybe he has because he's linked up with Virgil. But anyway, you know what I mean, you know what I mean. But a very, very nice iconic trainer. Um I wish other companies would take a leaf out of New Balance's book and, and either use the exact same materials that they used on the OGs or take a trainer, which Nike did try to do. They took um, the Jordan the Jordan range and then tried to bring, I can't remember what they called it. I don't know if it was, uh, they, they, they brought back some old Jordans and they said it was premium levers and all that kind of stuff, but it didn't kind of latch on. I wish other companies would do that just to give them a more stamp inside the industry. You know what I mean? Right, we're looking at our old silhouettes. We're doing something better. Boom, skate. Anyway, I've spoken long enough about this, but yes, this has been the MB New Balance 1300. It is the third version of the newest releases. So I believe when it went up to 2005, something happened and then they started doing version 1, version 2, version 3. But it's released before that. Anyway, you look and do your research. I'm just showing you these. It's rain. No, ma, 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 ma. <sighs> Forgot to show you the inside. The leather. The leather inside. Anyway. The leather inside is insane. The reason being, it's not just that, it's, it is actual leather. You know on some trainers when you get them, and it's got like a, it feels like it's a leather, but it's actually a pleather. This is actually plastic leather, pleather. It's actually leather inside. So when you slide your foot into it, it's like, um, have you ever, this is going to sound really mad, but have you ever slept on silk sheets with no clothes on? Slept in silk sheets with no clothes on? Well, that's the sensation you get. There is another sensation which is very close to, but I'm not gonna. This is a, this is a family channel. But anyway, rain the mask. Say the O U T. Ow. <laughs>